Hey, I'm James, and today I'm going to show you how to set up an event registration form that emails everyone who fills out the form with a PDF attachment. And we're going to do that using Google Forms, Google Sheets, and Lido. So I'm going to use this template here, which is just a Google Doc, and I have a few things that need to be filled in. So everyone who fills out this form is going to get a PDF attachment of this template with the right details filled in. So first I have created a Google form for the event registration. The form has a few important details that each event attendee needs to fill out. So their name, their email address, and their phone number. And here under responses, we have this view in sheets option. So I'm gonna click that and we're gonna see a Google sheet with all of the so far filled out entries of the form. Now in Google Sheets, it's not easy to automatically create a PDF from a template and then send that as an email. So I'm gonna use Lido. Lido is the sponsor of this video. It's a supercharged spreadsheet and it's a tool that I've been using for half of a year. So I'll just log into my Lido account and create a new file. Now I'm going to copy the URL of the Google Sheet that I just set up and I'm gonna click Connect Data. And here under Google Sheet, I will select my Google account and I'm just gonna paste in that Google Sheet URL. So I click next. Here there will be a little preview of what's gonna get inserted into our Lido file. And there it is. It's gonna create a new table called form responses. Every time someone fills out our Google form, a new row is going to show up here. And if it doesn't show up automatically right away, then we can just click this refresh data button. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add the registration number column because that's not part of the form. And then I'm gonna create some actions which are gonna automatically create a PDF confirmation and then gonna send that PDF confirmation to the user that filled out the form. So first I'm going to add that registration number and I want to do that as a linked column. I'm gonna call that column registration number. exactly as I did in the template. And I'm gonna click save. And for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to use the row function so that each new added row uh, gets one incremented number um, over the last row. So we're gonna use that as the registration number. Now we have all the fields, so I can create an action that's going to automatically generate a PDF from the template for each row. So I will create here, a computed column and inside of the first cell I'm going to use the create PDF function which takes a few arguments the first one is my account already signed in second one is a link to the template and that's the template that I showed you at the beginning of this video then the file name for the generated PDF because it's gonna save that in Google Docs. And for that, I will just call that event registration. And also let's use the registration number. And finally, we have the output cell. Now, when this action is finished, the success status is going to be written to this cell. So we just wanna use uh, the next cell over to the right. And that's it. So that next cell over to the right is going to be in a column as well. So I'm just gonna insert a linked column here. And I'd like to name this column PDF status. And now to test that out, all I have to do is here, right click on this action and click run action. Yeah, so when that's finished, uh, the URL of the created PDF is just gonna be added here and we could test that out. So here's the event registration PDF that was just generated with the confirmation number and my details. Now note that all of this has been generated um, by using this curly bracket notation uh, where the text in the curly brackets is exactly the same as the column headers here, and that's why it works. So now we know how to create PDFs automatically, and I want to go one step further and actually send that PDF to the person who submitted the form. So I'll create another column here, and that's going to be a computed column. 
and I'm going to call this column email action. And in the first cell, I will use the send Gmail function. Uh, the first argument here is my Gmail account. After that, we need the recipient email, which is already here in column C. Then we need to specify an email subject and a body. So here in the body, I'll write dear and then the name of the person. And I will write, thank you for registering for our event. Your event registration confirmation is attached. Now again, we need to specify a status cell for when this action is finished. So I'm just gonna specify the next cell over to the right. And I'm gonna skip CC and BCC. And now we just need the URL of the attachment. And that is in column G. And then finally the sender. So I'll just put in my own email address for that. Great, that's it. And since we're using this next column as the status column, I am going to add this as a linked column and I'm gonna name that column email status. And let's test it out. So I'm just gonna right click here on the cell and I'm gonna click run action. All right, so it says the action was run successfully. Let's have a look at my email. So here's my email and I got an email and it says, Dear James, thank you for registering for our event. And it has this PDF attached. Scrolling through the PDF, I see that everything here was inserted correctly, uh, just like I wanted. So now we've created two actions. And how do we get these actions to actually run automatically every time someone submits the form? Because right now I have to right click on them and click run action in order to get them to run. So the way we can do this in Lido is to add a new action and I'll have this action run every five minutes. It will check if the email has been sent yet and if not, it will generate the PDF and then send the email. So let's create a new computed column and I'm gonna call this one chain action. And in this column, I'm gonna use the if function to check if the status of the email being sent is equal to success. If that's true, we don't want anything to happen. So I'll skip this argument. And if it's false, we want to actually run two actions. So I'm going to use the chain function here and I'm gonna select the first action that we want to run. And then I'm going to type a comma and then I'm going to select the second action that we want to run. And that's the chain action. So to have this run every five minutes, I'm going to use automations and I'll create a new automation in Lido. We want to automate a column and that's here in form responses and chain action. Since I'm a pro Lido user, I can select anything as small as five minutes and I will just click save and I can close out of that. So the next time this runs, uh, this isn't actually going to do anything because this email has already been sent, but let's try and add a new submission to the form and then see if I get a confirmation uh, for that new event registration. All right, I've submitted that and we can see that it shows up right away on the Google Sheet. And in Lido, it will also show up. And actually we see that it just ran now. So if I will check my email right now, we'll see the new email and it has the new name that I put in as well as the event registration. And with all of the new correct information, the new confirmation number that was generated and the data that I entered into the event registration form. So that's how you can use Google Sheets, Lido and Google Forms to automatically email everyone who submits a Google Form, a PDF which is generated using the information submitted in that form.
I thought this was pretty cool. It's pretty easy to do using Lido and I'll put a link down in the description and in the comments pointing to the template that I used and to Lido so that you can get started trying this. I hope this was helpful.